we're going to learn the basics of spreadsheets using Google Sheets. Part of Google's suite of cloud-based applications, Google Sheets is a spreadsheet app that helps you create spreadsheets without having to purchase a commercial program like Microsoft Excel. Sheets is cloud-based, so you need an internet connection, a web browser, and a Google account to get started. Other tools, like Microsoft Excel, often require you to pay for and install a dedicated program on your PC. A spreadsheet is an electronic document that represents data in a tabular format. Spreadsheets can contain multiple sheets of data as well. The purpose of spreadsheets is to simplify the process of working with data. Spreadsheets are useful for organizing, sorting, and ultimately creating data visualizations using charts that communicate the big idea behind your data. It's hard to glance at a grid of data and make sense of it, so we often turn that data into charts because after all, a picture tells a thousand words. A spreadsheet is just a fancy grid of rows and columns. Where rows and columns intersect, you have what are called cells. Rows run horizontally and are numbered like one, two, three, and so on. Columns run vertically and are represented using letters like A, B, and C. Cells are the places where columns and rows intersect. Each cell is referred to by its cell address, which combines the column's letter and the row's number. For example, we would refer to the cell where column A and row 5 meet as A5. In a spreadsheet, you will often be working with groups of cells called ranges. Ranges are referenced using a similar scheme. For example, the range depicted here would be referred to as B5 colon C5, where B5 indicates the beginning of the range and C5 indicates the end of the range. Once you have entered the raw data into a spreadsheet, you can manipulate it in a variety of ways. Perhaps the most useful thing you can do in a spreadsheet is to apply formulas that perform calculations on data. Google Sheets has a formula bar that you can use for this purpose. To write a formula, simply start with an equal sign and enter in an expression. The formulas you build can be anything from simple arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, to complex ones built using statistical and engineering functions. With the right knowledge, you can do powerful things within a spreadsheet. Google Sheets includes the ability to create charts that allow you to visualize otherwise cold, lifeless data. Sheets has an extensive chart gallery which can be accessed from the chart editor. Although there are many chart types to choose from, we want to focus on the most popular ones that focus on telling the story of one series of data at a time, namely pie, line, and bar charts. Pie charts are for showing proportion. A pie chart is just like a pizza built with relatively sized slices which all sum up to 100%. When you want to show percentages of the whole, the pie chart is the way to go. Line charts are for showing trends over time. A line chart connects individual data points with a line on a two-dimensional grid. The x-axis normally represents time, and the y-axis is used for the corresponding data that is the subject of the chart. There's also a variation of the line chart called the area chart, in which the area below the line is filled in. When you want to show a trend, the line chart is the way to go. A bar chart is for showing comparisons. Normally, each bar represents an individual data item. Each bar is drawn to its relative size alongside other data items using a common range of values so the viewer can see how they compare. When you want to size things up against one another, the bar chart is the way to go. You may be asking yourself, what is the difference between Sheets and Microsoft Excel? In reality, they are very similar. In fact, Sheets was designed to be compatible with and contain many of the same features as Microsoft Excel. Sheets even allow you to work with and save your spreadsheets using Microsoft's .xlsx file format. Sheets is special, however, in that it is cloud-based, which means it relies upon the internet to function and to store your data. One of the great byproducts of this is that you can share your sheets with others using a URL. In this way, Sheets allows you to collaborate with others in real time, something that is hard to do with a dedicated program installed on your PC.